So what is Borough Book Club? Well, I got the idea from a global activity called Global Read Aloud. And we couldn't do Global Read Aloud because it doesn't happen until October. So as a department, we decided to do a book club just for our school. So we picked a book called Tuesdays with Maury that we have in our curriculum and we're all reading it at the same time. How do you think it'll affect the students? We're hoping that people can make connections between grade levels, between classes, and just get something out of the things that Maury's saying. I like Tuesdays with Maury because it just kind of like shows people's problems and how sometimes in life things aren't easy. I believe it's learning about life and how you should be thankful for what you have and to not take everything you have for granted and basically it's fun to learn what people go through on a daily basis. Yep. Yeah. Um, Tuesdays with Maury, I think it gives a lot of life lessons that aren't typically thought about by people our age. So I think it gives us a lot to think about. How do you feel about Borough Book Club? I think Borough Book Club is a really great idea uh, that my colleagues started so that we can try to connect with the story and the whole school can talk about it. Potato salad, apple cobbler, and something else. A Sony tape recorder. I wanted to remember what we talked about. I told Mari, I want to have your voice so I can listen to it later. When I'm dead, don't say that. He laughed, Mitch, I'm going to die, and sooner, not later. He regarded the new machine, so big, he said. I felt intrusive, as reporters often do, and I began to think that a tape machine between two people who were supposedly friends with Now for the Borough Book Club, there are three challenges that you can put on your social media using the hashtag Borough Book Club 2020. This is the inside scoop on Hello Dolly. Taylor Stevens is Dolly Levi, Josh McLeaf is Horace Vandergilder, Ivanka Lipoczyk and Jenna Faust are Minnie Faye and Irene Malloy. Nathan Scahill and Mason Swankler are Cornelius Hackle and Barnaby Tucker. Jim Mussolino and Christina Bonner, Ambrose Kemper and Ermengard, and Miranda Kuhn is Ernestina. Then there is the chorus, who are just as important. Don't forget about the ones behind the scenes, like stage crew managed by Jenna and Caleb, also the tech guys in the back. Also, did you know Grace Thurman helped design the set pieces? Now we can't forget about the big guns who made it all happen. Mr. Levine, director and producer, with this being his last year directing, he wanted everything to be big, which it is. This is Allie Hubbard, she taught us all the choreography for the show. Every note that is sung was taught by Mrs. Shawbrook. Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Yaki helped with everything involving costumes. Mr. Ritter is directing the pit, filled with talented musicians, and Mrs. Urban Sue crafted the props and built the sets. And so many more helping hands went into making it all happen. Countless hours of singing, dancing, sewing, painting, and building all come together this weekend. Come see Hello Dolly Friday the 13th at 7 p.m., Saturday the 14th at 7 p.m., and Sunday the 15th at 2 p.m. $10 for adults, $6 for children 12 and under. Thank you, and I hope to see you at this year's All School production, Hello Dolly. This is Personal Fitness. work out every day. Do something that's going to make me see the results I want to see. Oh, actually getting you know, like working out and you know, seeing myself improve. I took it to lose weight. If I want to lose a certain amount of weight and this class allows me to have my own personalized log so I can do what I need to lose the amount of weight I want to lose. weight or if you want to bulk up, if you want to build muscle for a sport or something, that'd be a really good class to take. And for the endurance program, you need to lose weight and just to tone up your body. This week's Good Boy Friday is... <laughs> Jack. 
juniors, if any of you are interested in helping set up for prom, go see your class president, Luna Chella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're interested, auditions for Chaos in the Fairy Tale Closet are Wednesday, March 18th from 3 to 4, and you can sign up in Miss Rudolph's room. Why are you in my story? Distance and pole vault. 100, 200, 4 by 1, and 4 by 4. What about you, Eric? 100, 200, 4 by 4. Hurdles. I'm going to have twins. Yeah, everything. Uh, I want to do the 100s. Uh, is that all? <laughs> um, I compete in pole vault, javelin, and 400. Nice. Javelin? Javelin toss. Yeah, I throw discus. I throw discus. <laughs> we just throw it. We all come. Yeah. Season is to get over there. Well, getting sub 55 in the 400. No Weber? Hi. What's your goal for this season? Hi, right, go boys and girls. My goal is to do this workout right now. <laughs> yep. So I coach um, hurdles and I help with sprints. Uh, so what I'm looking for this season, now, I'm looking to see some new guys come in and uh, really pick up on what we're kind of preaching. I'm um, just trying to PR every time. What I'm looking forward to this season is to see the progression of the younger athletes. We have a lot of talent out here for the younger kids. It's unknown what we have yet, so the possibilities are out there. It's just a matter of time and, and knowing what we have is what we have to do. Uh, I, I, currently, I coach the long, uh, high jump and the sprints. I've been doing that for 26 years now. The season, and I'm more so interested in the individual accolades. I'd rather see kids qualify for districts and states. If we end up getting a team championship, that's great. But if we can have multiple people qualify for the postseason, being districts and states, I think that's a better success than winning a 